Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today we are back with another dun -dun. Dun -dun. mukbang. Woo! Woo today I guess I'm feeling nostalgic. I'm feeling reminiscent of the times that I would pretend to be sick and my mom would let me skip school and then she would take me to the mall because I would miraculously feel better in an hour and uh, I would gorge on all the mall court food. The mall court food, the food court mall food. Oh, wow. The mall food court food. Why is that so <laughs> freaking complex to say? So I tried to get the most nostalgic items from the mall food court that I remember eating. So here we have Panera bread, mm. their broccoli and cheddar mac and cheese. We've got the Saboro. You know what I'm talking about? The freaking pizza place that you see everywhere inside of every single mall. <sighs> their strombolis. I'm We've never ate there. Never, ever. I think I've had that like a couple times. And yeah. I always walk by wanting it. Really? Because the smell. Every time. You know, I actually got food poisoning. <gasps> it was like when I was in high school, but... Oh my god, let's ever do since it again. Let's huh? do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got a Panera Bread fried chicken, some Shake Shack fries, Shake Shack burgers, a Panera Bread Mediterranean veggie sandwich, a tomato soup with these little croutons, Auntie Annie's pretzel, some donuts, because I tried to get a Cinnabon, I couldn't get a Cinnabon. Cinnabon is disappearing. Cinnabon is going extinct. And then we've got an Auntie Annie's pretzel snack box. So let's just dig in. Let's do it. I'm digging in with this, okay? Okay. Because this is my favorite thing in I'm the whole world. I'm oh. Where are the donuts from? I gotta try the donuts. Da Vinci's Donuts. Ah. Uh, That's a food court. I no. think I know why. Why? Because it's so artsy. It's so cute, no? What? It doesn't even have stuffing? What makes a good donut? Mm. Mm. What's the mm. quality of a good donut? Well, it gotta look good. Yeah. Okay, fair. Like appetizing. And it can't be too hard. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And? And it has to taste good. Mm. That's about it. <laughs> when mm. I first came to America, you didn't know what donut was. Obviously. Mm. And then I discovered donuts. And I discovered how cheap they were. Mm. <laughs> Cause they do these deals in that. Oh, they do. Oh my god, I was in heaven. <gasps> but I will buy a dozen and just devour it in the car. Oh my god. I know. Yeah. Your parents didn't say anything. No, I finished before I see them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was so happy. I think they do like um, you get something for free. I forgot what day it was. I think it was like on Valentine's or something. So you would go in and get a free one. They, yeah, it's like you get like oh. um, like a dozen for free or something. <gasps> Wow. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a fried chicken or a burger? Mm. Burger. Mm. You want a burger, babe? Whatever you want. Here, take the burger. I got the Mediterranean veggie. And we'll try the chicken later together. Thank because you. I want to... Listen, I want to see the fries. Mm. I want to see the fries, you know what I mean? Mm. Oh, this is good. Do you guys mm. know any secret industries? Like, what's a secret industry you never heard about? Or like an industry most people didn't know existed? Hmm. Or like jobs you didn't know existed, but like now that you think about it, you're like, oh, someone's gotta do that. Wait, hold on, let I me bet there's a lot. I'm, I'm, do you know yeah. any industry secrets of anywhere you've worked? <laughs> Confidential. Oh <my> <laughs> Without <laughs> spilling the details. Yeah, yeah, I do. Give me an example. Someone Where's did the uh, nasty, nasty. At your workplace? Yeah. In the bathroom? Don't say the kitchen, I'll fucking die. <laughs> in the kitchen? No. Bro. Outside the work. Kinda, yeah, yeah. Next to the trash chute? Kinda, yeah. Wow. Wow. Not really a industry secret, but we yeah. like it. Crazy. But it's a secret. Mm -hmm. And I like secrets, you know? How about you? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if this is true anymore. This was true like eight years ago. You can return anything to... I don't want to get sued. So I'll call it half foods. Yeah, the grocery store, half foods. You can return what? Literally anything. I had someone return an empty bag of grapes. Like, you know how grapes come in those plastic bags? And they were like, um, the grapes weren't good. And you get money? Yeah, and she showed me her receipt, and it was like $15 worth of grapes. And the grapes weren't even in the bag. Like, it wasn't molded grapes in the bag. It was an empty grape bag. <laughs> and I saw her receipt. It's $15 worth of grapes. I had to process the return. She oh. ate every grape. You can get grape for free every time then. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing that. Pretty much. That's what I learned like, when I first came to America. Uh -huh. What? Because in China, there's no return policies. Oh, really? Maybe there's some today, but growing up, 
There's no return policies. You buy something, it's yours. Mm -hmm. Like anything, everything. Yeah. She. Yeah. So when I came here, there, my dad was like, "Yeah, you can return anything. You can eat an apple and then say, I wasn't good. Can I get a refund?" <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm like, "Are you kidding me right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this country gave you that much freedom, and people are not returning everything." There are some wow. people. I know. Like I know. at Half Foods, I had yeah. some regulars who would I'm return like, that's everything. That's a lot of trust. People would come in with packages of meat, but just like the paper filling. Like, because they don't come in like the plastic, they come in the little paper wraps from like the butcher butcher. And they would just say the meat was bad. Like, I opened it and I tried to grill it and it was bad. But you can't abuse it, right? I mean, you can technically. <laughs> you shouldn't. Oh, no. yeah, of course. Of course. We don't recommend it. Mm -hmm. That's very wow. bad. Very wow. bad. Very bad. Very, very bad. Grapes. <laughs> meat. <laughs> I was actually craving grapes. For real. I got the best grapes upstairs. Really? Actually, from half the Green place. or purple? Bruh. Let me go grab the grapes right now. Are you All right, bet. Oh, it's better than, like, it's not just a regular green or purple grape. Please tell me it's green. Bruh, it's way better. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Prepare to die. Best grapes ever. Oh, it's like a mix of both. Muscat, Muscat grapes. Muscat. Oh. Right, let's see it. Better than the donuts, right? Let's talk about secret industry and industry secrets. In order to really understand the full depth of this, let me tell you about the time a beach was stolen. Let me explain. A whole beach. How is that possible? Exactly. Okay, the It's day. like the people who stole a train in China. Did you know there's someone who stole a train block in the middle of a train? So stealing as in like stealing. buying it, right? No. Like, no, just like a whole block of train, let's say it has 10 blocks. 10 cabins, someone stole the middle cabin while it's driving. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> How do you you exactly. can't do that. Well, he did it. Someone did it. <laughs> How can one person steal a block of train? <laughs> yeah, yes. He did it. How did they do it? So How? he put like wires. Let's say he's trying to steal number three, right? He put wire at number two, then loop it under block number three to number four. So number two and number four is connected through wire under number three. Does that make sense? Okay. And then wire under train number three to number four. Oh. Does that make sense? Yes. Now yes, they're so connected. Like yeah. And you know trains, in between the blocks, you can just push a little handle, uh -huh. it will detach. Uh -huh. So when the train is going through a split, everything is going through this side. They unhooked it, and then the number three went different. through the right side. Oh. And if you want to hear about how this man bit off his mom's nipple, check out our podcast. Link to the description. <laughs> the same guy bit off his mom's nipple. Uh-huh. Why? A lot of questions. <laughs> Find out <laughs> at her podcast. Rotten mango. The beach was stolen. Jamaicans woke up on that beautiful Sunday and they turned on their TVs to hear the news. A beach was stolen. Not the beach itself. I mean, how could you steal the beach? The water's still there. There's no stopping the ocean. That's literally impossible. Nobody has the power or the strength to do that. But someone, can you guess what they took from the beach? Think about it. What the can they take from the beach? Was stolen. Yeah. A beach. The okay. name of the beach. No. The trademark was stolen. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> shore. How was the shore stolen? Take out all the sand. Really? Mm-hmm. Someone it? stole the sand? Just the sand? How do you steal the sand? They stole all the white sand on the Coral Spring Beach. I mean, this was not a small ordeal. You can't just carry it around in beach bags and sand buckets. No, you're talking about organized crime. Mm -hmm. They stole 500 truckloads of sand. That's amounting to hundreds of tons of sand. To make matters even more puzzling, mm -hmm. there were no suspects. Like, what do you mean there's no suspects? Nobody saw 500 trucks of sand exiting the beach and probably hundreds of people loading the sand onto these trucks. Like, fine, you can't find out who sold it, but I'm sure you can find out who got it. Who just had hundreds of tons of sand imported? Who's hiding this shit? At first, the police kind of blamed the locals. They said it's because we're building so many houses, mm -hmm. someone stole the sand to make a profit. But that is such an ungodly amount of sand. And even crazier, it's an ungodly amount of money. 
Apparently, the amount of sand stolen could be reported to be worth about seventy million dollars. Holy sh! What? So, <laughs> Don't say you've wow. never seen $70 million in person. Just go wait, to any wait. public beach. How many truckload? 500 truckloads. 500 truck? $70 million? Yeah. So th that means... This was like pure white sand. It was like really pretty sand too. So we uh, From where? Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay, mm -hmm. so you said 500 million? Mm-hmm. Divided wait, by... Wait, no, 500 oh, trucks. Wait, how many... 500 trucks. 70 million? Yeah. 70 million divided by 500 is $140,000 a truckload of sand. Mm -hmm. That's how much it's worth. That's insane. How did they How did they pull it off? Because wouldn't it be suspicious of mm -hmm. 500 trucks just driving in the yeah, like, road? Or just the sand was gone, the beach is gone. That's true too. Did you know most resorts you go to, the nice ones, they spend a pretty penny on sand. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Wow. On their little beach, right? Think about it. The beach. You go to a resort, waterfront. It has private access to a beach, a private beach. Mm -hmm. It's just all the goers of the res resort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now think about it, the sand is ugly. It's all brick, it's hard, it's brown, it's nasty. No, you are paying for that white sandy beach. Mm. So it's man-made. None of it is natural. I always thought it was natural. I thought it was natural. So a lot of these resorts, they'd be spending top dollar on bringing in white sand. Makes sense. Dang. Importing sand. I didn't it's know that. It's crazy. So now this Jamaican incident, it's suspected that tons of people were involved. Very powerful, rich people bought the sand, either a massive construction company or another resort wanting white sand for their beach or exported to another country, which takes a ton of effort too. I mean, there's no way that they did this without some police cooperation, without some government cooperation. Someone must have known that this was going down. The police said that they were you know, going to be carrying out forensic tests on beaches along the coast to see if any matches match the stolen sand. But this happened in 2008 and after many death threats, it seems nobody is being punished for the stolen sand. What? And that begs the question, do you actually know how valuable sand is? It's a whole industry. Think about it. Everything around you is typically sand. There was one Reddit, um, Reddit question that fascinated me. I forget what it said. It said something along the lines of, what's one thing that you could eliminate from this earth and cause mass destruction? No, it can't be like water. It can be like sunlight. It has to be like something really random. Mm -hmm. And people said sand because it's not just beaches that disappear. It's not just sand castles that disappear, sand boxes. All buildings. Do you know what um, concrete is? Concrete? Isn't it just. If you really. Rock? Yeah. No, it's. Concrete is something. It's a mixture. Concrete is like a mixture of sand, right? Sand is something and then you mix it up and then let it, let it harden. But what's. Is so, it sand rock too? I don't yeah. want any Home Depot dads to come for me. If you just want to oversimplify concrete, it's a mixture of sand and glue, like a paste right. that hardens. So if you were to get rid of sand, all the buildings would tumble pretty much. Really? Yeah, mm. sand is used in everything. Like everything around us is typically sand, even if you're not living anywhere close to a beach. Buildings are just sand and gravel glued together with, you know, cement, which also includes sand. Sand in different forms goes into detergents, makeup, toothpaste, everything. Everything in our life what? has sand. <laughs> Glass crazy. is just sand that's been crystallized. What? Yeah, really? everything is, those silicone chips inside of phones and computers, they have sand in them. I know, you're a curious little cat. You're like, tell me how to make sand. I wanna, I wanna, I want in on this cash cow. That's how I was thinking. I didn't know any of this stuff, by the way. There's a lot of like good, um, I think it's New York Times and The Atlantic did one on the Sand Mafia. Really good pieces. Really illuminating on the fact that I knew nothing about sand. I always thought it was a beach time activity. Same. I always thought it was an annoying thing I gotta, you know, take about, out of my foot. How about sandwich? <laughs> Give me that bread bowl. You guys are just leaving this delicious goodness. You gotta eat the bread on the side. You guys don't even know how to eat. You don't know how to experience life. <laughs> yeah. That's a bite, okay? That's a bite. So, mm -hmm. notions, oceans naturally degrade seashells. Yeah, the oceans sit there and it's like, you nasty little seashell, where's your dad, huh? 
<laughs> you didn't get wait, my wait, wait. T- Oceans what? So ocean makes sand, you know? Uh-huh. The ocean naturally makes sand by degrading seashells. Mm. So the ocean's like, you nasty little seashell. Where's your fucking dad? You don't have a dad. You little... Wh-. Okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> They're degrading. degrading. It, yeah, and this naturally makes some sand. <laughs> Sometimes when volcanic lava shatters upon contact with the air, it makes sand. But most of the time, 70% of sand is quartz formed by weathering. So time and elements, they'll eat away at um, above and below ground and it grinds off the grains. And that will later be carried on by the river into riverbeds, river banks, beaches. That sand. Okay, you're like, that's amazing. So sustainable. Woo woo. But humans use more than 40 billion tons of sand. So we're running out of sand. And if you're like, then go to the desert, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, yeah, go to the desert. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Listen. Yo, desert. <laughs> desert. Bro, what are ton- we doing? <laughs> there's tons. No, you stupid bitch. Okay, so apparently sand from deserts are weathered by wind, not water, which means the grains are too round to bind together for building. Bro, that's which so confusing. Which is why when you look at a picture of desert sand, it looks so soft. Just get some more like blue. Oh, so you need something mm-hmm. like thicker. Like it's too round. The minuscule grains are too round. Mm-hmm. That's freaking crazy. Yeah. So um, now we have resorted to having ships out there in the oceans vacuuming up sand from the ocean floor. No way. And at first it was fine. Oh my because God. Because nobody cared about the fish, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say we still don't care about the fish. Mm-hmm. But then what happened was they started taking the sand away from the ocean floor and uh, it compromised bridges and the whole marine system. <laughs> like overwater bridges. Damn. So they thought, okay, we can't do this anymore. And a lot of governments now wanted permits if you want to get sand. But these permits stipulate that whatever you do, you have to restore the land after you extract the sand. Now that's going to be incredibly costly. That's going to cut into people's bottom line. That's going to cut into people's margins. Nobody wants to do that. Mm -hmm. So the black market for the sand industry has formed. And there are some huge government scandals in some countries where officials were charged with accepting bribes in money or sexual favors in exchange of smuggling sand out of the country. Just for sand? Sand might be more valuable in terms of the powder form, more valuable than cocaine, eventually. Oh, eventually. Yeah. That's crazy. There's a sand mafia going around killing people. Just for sand? They're dealing sand? They're dealing sand. Dang, is that expensive then? Sometimes if you hear of entire small uninhabited islands disappearing, it might not be from rising water levels. A lot of the times it is, but sometimes it might be the sand mafia. Bruh. I swear to God, it sounds like a joke, but they don't play. Some might argue that they're even more ruthless than the narcs. Can you call them the narcs? Than the narcos? The narcos. Yeah, the narcs are the cops. That show was good. Was it good? Yeah. I, I got really stressed out. I watched a couple episodes and I was getting <laughs> so angsty. That like really piqued my anxiety. But what I found interesting were the whispers online about how sand might be connected to another very mysterious industry that none of us have probably really put much thought into. The mysterious glitter industry. Yeah, you're <clears throat> thinking, duh, it's a nail polish, yeah. eye makeup, <laughs> lip gloss, kids toy, slime, Christmas decorations, but it's actually the one thing that's everywhere. Glitter is in hospitals, fire stations, hardware stores, breweries, car dealerships, everywhere. Your credit card, an NFL helmet, a jet ski paint job, everything has glitter. What is glitter? Any glitter is yeah, but- microplastics that have been cut to reflect light and mixed with colors. So it's plastic. A lot of the times. Really? Yeah. According to the New York Times, glitter will be mixed in with animal food at the zoo. What? Yeah, so they can track poop. So you give that doesn't sound right. polar bear, happy boy, let's call it polar bear happy boy. This one gets pink glitter in its food and then happy girl gets purple glitter and when they look for the poop and it's a pink glittery poop, they're like, that's happy boy. Mm. What are we gonna do about that? So they can study the poop and make sure that, you know, the polar bear is healthy. It was healthy before you put the plastic <laughs> in there. <laughs> I think they use like some sort of food grade glitter. Oh, okay. Dang, how do you know all this? Google. <laughs> <laughs>
I know nothing is what I'm trying to say. There's a huge manufacturer of glitter based in New Jersey. This is the question that I have. I just want to ask it straight up right now so you can really think about it while I mm -hmm. tell you the rest. Who do you think is the number one purchaser of this glitter company's glitter? Jojo Siwa. <laughs> I don't know, the government? <laughs> the mm. government. What are they using the glitter for? Everything. Like what? Like you said, NFL helmet, you know? The government didn't make the NFL helmets. It's gotta be like national security. Oh! Money. Cash. You think it's in cash? Yeah. Bro, they can't be, there's not that much cash they're making. It's just paper. But there's like glitter stuff on the paper. No, it's not glitter. They use the- How do you know it's not glitter? This is just one glitter company. This is not to say that this is the number one buyer of all the glitter in the world, manufactured. But there is this huge, and this caused a lot of discourse on Reddit because it's just such a fascinating mystery. Um, there was a, a manufacturer of glitter based in New Jersey. They're called Glitter X. They did an interview with the New York Times, and um, which, by the way, this was a few years ago, and the minimum order size of glitter was 10 pounds for them a few years ago, which doesn't sound like a lot. Mm -hmm. But that's enough to supply sparkle to half a million bottles of nail polish. So okay. this is like, they're not selling tiny little packs of glitter to the at-home DIYer, okay? Yeah, but so, how much is that, a 10 pounder? A lot of money. Just really? for 10 yeah. pounds? I mean, it depends on the grade and how small the glitter particles are. The smaller, the more And what expensive? color, yeah. And colors are harder too. Mm. So why is the glitter industry so scandalous? Because there's this air of secrecy. Who is this huge buyer? Their top client. You would assume makeup. I believe Revlon was one of their biggest buyers too. But the employee told the New York Times, the biggest client we have, you would never guess it. Let's just leave it at that. So why can't you just tell us? Because they don't want anyone to know that it's glitter. Well, if I looked at it, mm. I wouldn't know that it's glitter if I just looked at it. No, not really. Food. Would I be able to see the glitter? No way. Oh, you'd be able to see something, but uh, see, I can't tell you. It's food, microplastic. I don't know, there's no answer. So we can safely assume that whoever is buying that much glitter, if exposed, it would probably cause some sort of panic or some freak out or some hashtag cancel insert corporation here. Mm. Okay, there would okay, be... let's think about it. Hold on yes. a second. What does glitter provide? Color and sparkly Shiny. effect, yeah. right? It provides, there's no other reason you use glitter, correct? Mm -hmm. And everything we've mentioned that's shiny is re really obvious and they're not the answer. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not makeup, it's not like children's toy, it's not none of those. It's something that you don't expect, mm -hmm. but it still has that sparkly effect. Yeah. What is something that's still sparkly, but that doesn't relate it to like makeup? My fucking donut. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> something visually is kind of sparkly. Oh, well, how can it be food? It's not food. It's not. You know, some food like cake, cupcake has like powders. Oh, did you know that's a huge thing right now? What? A lot of people are under fire and it's a, like there's a lot of articles about it where you will buy cake glitter. They call it like dessert glitter, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, very in small print, they'll say this is not for consumption. No so there's way. two types. Real glitter and like sprinkles, they should be made out of sugar. Mm -hmm. But a lot of them, they're just super glittery. They look like they should be in the craft aisle and it's just for decor. But if you put that on your cupcake, like you gotta literally, you shouldn't eat the cupcake anymore. You shouldn't put that on your cupcake. So why is it food grade? It's not food grade, but they sell it as cake decor. But why do they sell it then? If it's to not for consumption? To make money. I know, but I thought for food, like you gotta be honest with your, um, what, yeah, whatever. but they don't say like, put this on your cake, it's delicious. That it's seems like a decor. huge lawsuit yeah. in the making. Yeah, so a lot me? of them are like decor. Alright, let me, I'm gonna buy a cupcake mm. today. No, no, like if you go to a restaurant and they sell a cupcake, it's not gonna be that. Because okay. these restaurants mm. are gonna get sued. But these are for like the at-home bakers, you gotta be careful. Wow. Yeah, these are for like the at-home, like, oh, I'm just baking for my kid's birthday, you know. Yeah, apparently that's what? a big thing. I had no idea and I got really paranoid and car I jumped paint, on stuff. Car paint, you know, car paint oh, is sometimes that, glittery. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like car industry. Just some anything. Cell phone? Yes, phones. I mean, our iPhones but are But think smart. about it. Are these... Okay. It cannot be an industry where the final product is glittery or it looks like glitter. Yeah. Or it can't be an industry where you would say, 
Oh my God, that's glitter. I'm so mad. Okay, so for example, it can't be car paint because yeah, Chad, your BMW white pearl shade probably is like 99% glitter. Okay, you've been driving around in a glitter bot. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> so how do you feel about that, Chad? Um, I'm kidding. But I actually think the glitter used in car paint is not glitter. It's a different type of material. Mm -hmm. It's like a cheaper glitter. Anyways, back to the biggest buyer. Mm -hmm. Whatever they're using it for is going to be around for a long time. Glitter takes about 1,000 years to completely biodegrade. Someone said it's like a sparkly herpes. What? Once you get it, you kind of have glitter for life. It's a huge microplastic. Uh. So the first theory that the Redditors came up with was the government. Military oh. operations. I got it right. It's a theory. It's a conspiracy. Oh, it's a theory. So they said maybe a specific glitter is used to cloak and hide vehicles better. But that doesn't quite make sense because glitter attracts and reflects light. Mm -hmm. Which means that that's the opposite of hiding something. No mm -hmm. matter what the color. But yeah. someone on Reddit who knows a lot more about the military than I do said they need to use radar absorbent materials. Uh-huh, yeah. Which typically are a mix of finely ground materials. Uh-huh. Um, Potentially glitter and polymer. Okay. They can be finely ground and it absorbs radio waves without reflecting it. And you need that if you're trying to be stealthy up in the air. Okay. So maybe Fine, it's not about using glitter to visually be hidden, but maybe it's being used to be hidden from radars. But so that's, is that a big secret? I no. guess. I mean, it doesn't seem like a big secret. If it does, like, I don't think Glitter X with a government contract would be doing an interview with the New York Times, no? <laughs> so I think that's like the biggest no-no. The second no-no that I see is that, listen, if all it took was some glitter, I think every nation would know about it at this point, or at least yeah. the government officials. And I don't think anyone would have outrage that the fucking flighter jets are made out of glitter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, yeah. it must to be something that people will get triggered by, exactly. which is health related. Yes. Something I, that would impact the everyday like human. Like food. You're, imagine you're consuming that and then you will be pissed. That cupcake was pretty good. The, so, that idea. then people pointed out maybe the military could be using it to identify things. If they put micro glitter into explosives and dynamite and they use a very specific blend of glitter that they know, only people who know what they're looking for would find it. So if something detonates, they can go on site and trace it back to where it came from. But a lot of sources said they already had that like a million years ago and it's not made of glitter. Another source said maybe it's money. Maybe, you know, the Federal Reserve has a proprietary blend. It sounds like I'm selling coffee. <laughs> the money roast blend, okay? <laughs> of glitter that they put into money to detect counterfeit bills. Which the problem with that is that, again, even if that were true, which is highly unlikely, it, it just doesn't seem like anyone would be upset. Like, would you be upset that your dollar bill's got glitter in it? No. Probably not. I'd be happy. Your dollar bill probably has <laughs> glitter happy. on it because be it's happy, huh? probably circulated a strip club at least once. Oh, yeah. So then people thought, what about processed food? I mean, who's to say that there's not glitter in the food or the packaging that's touching the food mm. and might rub off on the food? Do you know, like, when you get a box and you open up that box and there's, like, that shiny aluminum? Yes. That shiny, shiny aluminum. Yes. Maybe it's that. But then people were like, nah. You know, like the food, they, people just have too much trust in the FDA. But a lot of people online, they, they're like, the FDA, the FDA wouldn't let us poison ourselves. <laughs> now, it might rub off on the food. It just, it seems like food is a big one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I yeah. think no one's saying it's used directly in the food, but people yeah. think it could be a byproduct of the packaging that could be too close to the food, that could rub off on the food. Yeah, that's, that's true. I, I feel like food is more reasonable than the government idea. Yeah, because the government, I don't think anyone would be mad. Yeah, because government technically buys everything, right? Right. Mm -hmm. They're probably the biggest buyer of it, everything. And so. the government does so much fucked up shit. Yeah. Could you imagine like the state of the world that we're in right now and the one thing we get out? I mean, I could imagine it. Yeah, this is totally Whoa. such an internet thing to happen. The government is out there fucking shit up. And we're like, glitter? You're buying <laughs> glitter? Cancel them. Can't call Yo. your congressman fucking glitter. Okay. Wow. Very internet take. I'm sorry, but you know, it could it could definitely happen. So food is a big one. It also seems to have been proven that it is in toothpaste. The one with the flex at Ooh. least. The flex, you know what I'm talking about? The shiny one. Yeah. So a lot of people think that it's used to getting extra grime off of your teeth. They're not used for cleaning. 
Yeah, they're just little gems of plastic inside your toothpaste. Like glitter. <laughs> I mean, it's shimmery. And I really can't understand any of toothpaste ingredients typically, which is... Uh, yeah. Which, by the way, there's a fascinating AMA on Reddit from a glitter distributor, not GlitterX, but someone else. Mm -hmm. And he responded to a ton of questions after work. And he said that the only way to get glitter off your hand is... Can you take a guess? Honey. The only way to get glitter off mm -hmm. my hand? Yeah. Do you the wash it? The only way? No. Because I realize washing never gets it off. You have to use some kind of like solution. No? No, okay. Some kind of glue to stick it off. No? Simpler. Simpler? Blow it off. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. It's like when we went to the Nongshim Ramen Factory for a tour, we went to the Nongshim Noodle Factory, and before you can go in to see how the noodles are made, then you have to get into like this little mini, not a hallway, but like a double door entrance, like a mm -hmm. trap door. It's like a lab. And it just blows up um, like air. It's not steam, it's not hot or cold, it's just high pressure air. Mm. To get rid of the dust? Yeah, dust and stuff. And then you gotta That's put cool. on the lab coats and the hair nets, you know, on top. Mm. Of, and then you gotta wash your hands and all the, and then like shoe covers and everything. Mm -hmm. But that is the first step to get all the weird dust off. Huh. Yeah, but even then he said you never really get rid of the glitter. It's there in your belly buttons, your ears, your nose, your clothes. Sometimes you have an open cut, glitter gets inside and you're looking at an infection. He said it's all over the steering wheel of my car, my wallet's everywhere. There's no escaping it. He said that the amount of glitter on wallpaper worldwide would blow everybody's minds. Wow. What? This is, kind of, this is fascinating. Yeah. He's yeah, it is a mess when we it, it, if we yeah. ever met, play with glitter, it gets it's it's so hard to get it off. Yeah. yeah, it sticks to everything. But he's saying like glitter is not typically what you think is like. Oh, that looks glittery. He's saying like anything that has a shiny prettiness to it, you could assume it's some form of glitter. It's not just that glitter look, mm. because glitter has a very special look that you're yeah. thinking of. Yeah. It could be just anything that's shiny. Mm. could have glitter infused into that's it. That's very... Okay, that makes a lot yeah. of sen sense. Because the question is like, why are some things... That, it's like the car paint, right? Yeah. What made the car paint so shiny? It is made small, very tiny particles inside that of that paint. That reflect the light. It's like that shiny white color or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm. So it makes sense. Yeah, if you just painted it white, it would look so ugly. Yeah. Well, some people do like a matte white. Mm -hmm. You know, it's I'm not calling your car ugly. I love a good matte wrap. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But like, I'm talking the shine. I'm talking the shimmer. I'm talking that sun-kissed look. That's what I'm saying. Oh my god, the car bros Man. are coming for me. I can feel it. The car bros, not the car bros, okay? So gassy. <laughs> you feel gassy? Yeah. It's the car bros. It's the car bros, okay? And uh, it would blow everyone's minds. He said he's pretty sure that he knows the answer to the question of the Glitter X glitter. And he said car companies, that the paint is probably all glitter. But a lot of people didn't like this answer. Okay, because why would this cause a scandal? I mean, some yeah. think to mm. toxic masculinity. I'm sure most guys would totally be fine with this information, if not amused. I guess there's going to be a few chads out there in their BMWs and their Mustangs who are not going to like the sound of that. Glitter. I'm not gay. Yeah, I don't know why they would always say that, but they do. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they look like they've seen a ghost. And you're like, Chad, are you sure? <laughs> You're not gay? Um, What's going on? Okay. But uh, some people had problems with this answer. Because as much as I love having imaginary woke conversations with Chad, mm. I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of even the most toxic men are going to be totally fine with this information. Like, they're not going to give a fork about their car paint like that. Like, are you going to stop driving your car because it's made of glitter? No. No. A lot of car experts say glitter is not used in the car industry because it's all about the margins. They found cheaper alternatives to glitter. So maybe it's something more shocking that would cause a stir. So people said, on track with automobile paint, what about boat paint? Boats, the paints are shimmery. They reflect light. They're made of glitter. I mean, boats shine just as much, if not more than cars. And this would cause a huge controversy, not because boat guys are more toxic, but because as water starts crashing into the boat, Naturally, paint and other things get stripped. <laughs> Compare amount of plastic yeah. we're throwing into the ocean. Not we corporations. Like, yes. what's the um, difference of a boat? Yeah. You know? So they're saying tons and tons of glitter and boat paint could just be microplastics going straight into the ocean. But some people say that's not it either because what are we going to do? Cancel boats? 
you know, that would be really hard to do. <laughs> yeah. It's just, you know, and then typically they said that boats have a hard coating on the outside that's cured into almost like a resin-like hard shell covering. So it probably wouldn't be leaking that much glitter into the ocean. Or at least that's what they're saying on Reddit. Mm. I mean, I don't know how credible this is. I also feel like it doesn't make sense because the GlitterX employee said you wouldn't know it's glitter by looking at it. Mm -hmm. So what if that means we take out anything that has shine that looks remotely similar to glitter is kind of out of the picture. That yeah. means someone wants glitter not for the shine or the reflection or even mm -hmm. the aesthetic, but for the actual properties of the material. So there's a theory that glitter, because it can be densely packed together, is being used as an alternative to sand now. There are speculations that the glitter is mixed with sand to give those private white sand beaches that super <gasps> exclusive resort. Oh my God. Because now you're really just pushing microplastics oh, into the water. Oh my God, that's good. That's a good theory. Yeah. Oh my God, it's like the company. Oh, that would be really fucked like a up. a plot to us, bro. Yeah. That would be really fucked up. So fucked up. But interesting. And if you're like, that's against the law, but Come who's on. testing sand? Nobody's yeah. testing. As long as it feels like sand, and then looks like sand. Is there no device that checks? But how, why, why would anybody check them? But if let's say like there when is... You, yeah, when you go to the beach, you put your feet on the ground, it feels good, and it looks good. So this is more for less of like the beach, you know? You're talking <sighs> resorts. Resorts okay. with their own private beaches. Yeah that are charging people thousands of dollars a week to stay. How do they get that competitive edge? Let's say the government does come around and they do check the sand. You don't think these massive resorts that are worth billions of dollars have connections? Oh, for sure they do. You think that they don't break any laws? You think they don't cut any corners? You don't think that they want that competitive edge? Listen, I'm not saying this is true. I'm just saying it was a speculation on That's Reddit crazy. that blew my mind. Because think about the outrage. That water comes in, microplastics out Bro. people think that it's very likely not just in hotel beaches but on cruises because they have that fake white luscious sand mm. on the cruise all these little businesses not little massive another redditor said it's got to be disney Oh, that's a good guess. Uh, they said the amount of stock that they have of just glitter. And this this sounds like a, a former employee allegedly, but they said if you were to ever tear down Disney, you would need to tent the entire area of Anaheim and have all the glitter removed. Because if they just come on in there bulldozing, glitter bombs. Glitter bombs yes. for days. Glitter everywhere. Everything soaked in glitter. If anything, they're exploded. It would cover the entire western U.S. of glitter. Which, speaking of, that would be cool. Yeah, cool for like one second, and then you're like, this fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which, speaking of, a lot of people suspected ski resorts. Imagine it putting glitter into snow mm. machines, and the slopes are gonna seem a lot more glittery and magical and more inviting. What? I don't believe this one as much as the beach ones. Yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah, but it's suspected that there's a lot of glitter in your MacBook Pros. Mmm. Like phones and stuff, because uh, it could easily be pulverized glitter added to it to make it shine, so it looks like it's made of a high quality metal. Yeah. Which I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know if this is true. I don't work for Apple or Peach or Pear or Mango or whatever <laughs> you want to call it. I don't work for any of these companies. Mm -hmm. But maybe they just don't want you to know there's like a coating of glitter. But I don't know. That one, I wouldn't get mad. I'd be like, okay. So there's no answer to this. Wait, what? There's no answer to this, and it's been driving me. Crazy. <laughs> so we were talking about these theories with no answer? Yes. So what do you think? I am inclined to believe the resort thing be with the amount of knowledge that I have today, which is not a lot. But I am inclined to believe it. Yeah. Only because I'm inclined to believe that these... I mean, just take one Google search history and to even win. You know? These resorts, these resort owners, these massive, massive companies, they be doing some crazy stuff. Maybe it's like the private companies that do it. Yeah, like they're doing some wild, wild mm. things. Wait, but I still have a question. Yes. About that, like, no consumption. Yeah. Could they get in trouble for that? Like, could I, could I sue? I don't think so. So it's totally legal? Because, yeah, I don't think so. But what if you get sick from it? But it says no consumption. Like, if I eat 
if I eat oh, this mitten oh, right. oh. that I'm not supposed to eat. But it's in a super small font. I think it's like a specific, I don't know if it's in a super small font, but I was just hearing about people and these articles I was reading while I was on this glitter topic of mm -hmm. saying like, you need to be careful as like an at-home chef. If you're into baking, if you're into like, even if you're not a baker, but you want to make a cake for a special occasion, you got to be really careful about the decorative cake glitters out there. Because mm. they'll disguise it as, because when you read cake decor, your brain is automatically, then I can eat it. Because mm -hmm. then why would you say cake decor? Yeah. It's not cake decor if I can't eat it. Right. Yeah. Mm. But apparently they can sell it as cake decor, but you don't eat it because it's decor. It's like when they put a plastic little yeah, 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 decoration yeah, yeah. on a cake, you can't eat it. Right. And if you eat it, you can't really sue anyone because it's kind of like, why'd you eat it? That makes me more cautious about food. Yeah. So be careful, you know? Look around now. Glitter is going to be everywhere. Which, speaking of, you've got to be careful because glitter is not only the herpes of the art world, but it can also land you in prison. I don't know where I saw this. I did a lot of glitter research and it led me to weird, strange places on the internet. Two women were charged a felony burglary. And you guessed it, Florida. They broke into a guy's <laughs> house and threw containers of glitter at him during an argument, threw buckets of glitters on him. So mm -hmm. this was obviously planned, unless this is a craft store owner, or maybe it's like a PTA mom that loves crafts, but I imagine that's still a lot of glitter hoarding. I mean, they threw glitter all over him inside of his apartment and beat him up. And just to add insult to injury, on their way out, they kicked a window. Nice. Yeah. They didn't even need the window to break in or anything. They just kicked it just because. They were arrested by the police. And there's not much they could argue because the police found the evidence in the car. They couldn't get rid of the glitter. So, Have you guys seen glitter bomb? Yeah, yeah that you sent to like cheaters. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. That's crazy. Just cause she threw away the glitter? Imagine I break into your house, I throw buckets of glitter on you and I beat you up. Okay, not the glitter. beating apart. Okay, not the breaking in part. But what if you just threw the glitter? Oh, probably like personal property damage. Yeah, oh, trespassing. Serious, yeah. yeah, I don't think it'd be that serious. Maybe if it gets into your eyes, and maybe you got to go to a hospital. Maybe, maybe it's assault. No. Yeah. Yeah. It, you could probably get assault charges for that, oh, even yeah. if you don't beat him up. I yeah. think you'd get. Don't do that. Don't do that. You will be charged with it. Don't. Do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't. I mean, mm, there's a time and place for it. You know, there's a time and place for it, but don't do it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Who is buying the glitter? I need to know. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>